Hi everyone, welcome back to the chess guy. In this video, I'm going to play be playing against Chalkfish level 1, which is rated 800, down 2 queens. I tried playing in down 1 queen, but I ended up winning. And I'll put the link of that video in the description. So after you're done watching this video, go and check out, go and check out that video. That's all, and let's start. Okay, I have to tell two things before the game is starting. I removed the A and the H pawns because Leeches was not allowing me to put a position where Strongfish has two queens and the, and eight pawns because the only way to get a second queen is to promote a pawn. And once you promote a pawn, you'll only have seven pawns or like six or how much ever pawns you have. So seven is the maximum number of pawns you can have if you have two queens or not. And so I removed the hedge pawn and I wanted it to be really down two queens. So I removed my A pawn too. So it's equal, not equal. I'm down 18 pounds of material, but and another thing, I do not want to place the queens away in the corner because what is the fun in that? So let, so I put them in the middle. Let's start. Knight f3. d4. I'll probably try to attack the queen the most so I can win them. Because chalkfish might blunder. Oh, oh, and also one more thing. You'll be hearing me saying stockfish many times. When I say stockfish, I don't mean stockfish level 8 or something. I mean stockfish level 1. The one I'm playing with. Now we can focus on the game more because I told everything I had to tell. I don't feel castling is good. Short side castling, I don't feel is good. Because this rook is there. Maybe the queen will get into the attack. Oh no, my pawn! How did I not see that? Okay, so now I'll have to lose my rook or my knight. Every okay, so the knight is worth less, so I'll save the rook. Or should I? Is knight g5 a good move? Is knight g5 a good move? Oh, yeah, it's a good move. Oh, no, it, it isn't, it isn't. Because after takes is check. And so I don't have time to take this. And four. Ninety five. Um plus the queen can just take. So uh, Oh no, I have to save my rook with the rook. F one. I might end up losing this. I might. Like 80%. Oh, thanks, Jockfish. Thanks for not taking my free knight. Which was absolutely free. Now, what do I play? Not knight g1. That is too passive. So, um, I don't want to play knight d2, d2 because it blocks my bishop. No, not this. Yep. So I probably, or is that the only option I have? Or I can sacrifice a pawn, but why would I? And that, that, that. Okay, so I'll probably have to play an ID too. Rook takes H2. Oh no, I'm in some... A lot of trouble. The main goal here is to castle, long castle. The main goal is to win, but this is just I want to castle. But is castling safe? Because all the pawns are going to come. I'll castle. Hmm. Now what should I do? Sh should I take? Nah, yeah, you shouldn't take when you're down material because if you think of it, it does make sense. Oh, yay! This is what I'm hoping for. Free queen. Not free, but yay, queen. Oh my god, stockfish. Why did 
did you not take? Well, good you didn't take. Now what do I do? Should I rescue my knight or trade it? Rescue or trade? Mm, rescue. This was not a good move because my knight just gets trapped. Okay, now what do, should we do? Bishop d3. Trying to play e4. No, I'm trying to play rook e1 and then e4. And to try to break open the center. Or should I have played c3? No, c3 loses a pawn. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. If I might trap the queen, maybe. Um. Okay, stock with trades, which is good for it. But okay, should I take? After takes, should I take? Okay, takes. C D is C D three. Oh, okay. I'm only trying to be down like 10 points of material, which sounds like a lot, but in the starting, I was down 18 points. So it's a, so it's very good for me. Not very good. It's a really losing position, but I don't know if Stockfish will convert it. Stockfish 8 will definitely convert it, but Stockfish 1? That I don't know. I okay, I'll attack the queen. Oh no, that's a free pawn. Nope. King is three. And you will have to sack your rook or queen. But you should sack your rook. Oh, should I take? Okay, fine, I'll take. Okay. Now it's not so bad. Jack, we should have taken my bishop and not have blundered the rook. Now this is not the worst position ever. Okay, can I win this bishop? Because it's pin. Yeah, I think this just cleans a bit. Gets the bishop. Okay, now I'm only down one point of material. Which is really good because I was down 18 in the starting. I hope I win this. It's still a good position for black, but I'll try. I'll try. Now it's equal. A queen for a rook, knight, and pawn. Which is good or bad. Which that depend If it's good or bad, depends on the position. In this position... I don't know if it's good or bad. I think the white is better. Now what should I do? I'll have to protect this pawn. It doesn't protect it because it takes, takes, takes. Hmm. Because that pawn was anyways not protectable. I don't even know if protectable is a word or not. Oh no. I blundered made in one. That was just made in one. That was just made in one. That was just made in one. But Stockfish doesn't find it. Yeah. Yeah for us, not for Stockfish. Hmm. Stockfish is still up a pawn. I'll try to play King D2. Hmm. B, B5 Knight B2 Oh no, why do I keep blundering pieces? Or checkmates, bang! No, that was just a free piece. Chalkfish doesn't find it. My goal is to get to C6. How do I get there? I have to be here. But how do I get here? I don't know if I can get here or not. Should I try some crazy something like that? Or is that a waste of more? I'll try. But first I'll protect this pawn. Oh no, no, what should I do? Oh, 
I, I guess I have to protect my knight because it's guarding this. And I don't want to lose d3. It's too close to my king. That, 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 that is our plan. Also, they took block. That's very hard to accomplish, although. Almost impossible. But nothing is impossible. Mm. Oh, that was a mouse slip. That was a pure mouse slip. That was a mouse slip. It's not like a losing mouse slip, which makes you lose immediately, but. Mouse slip is a mouse Oh, okay, I want to move my knight so I can trade rooks or something. Take six. Rook e7. Wait, if stockfish goes. Oh, this is winning. I, I, I think this is winning. Oh, I, this is winning. This is winning. Oh, oh no, oh no, no, no. I could have. I could have four rook them instead of winning a rook. This fork is still there. Yes. Now, now this is a winning position. Right. Yeah. This is easy to convert. Remember, look. Just make sure it's not stalemate. I don't think it's going to be stalemate because there are two pawns. And we can do a ladder mate. If you don't know what a ladder mate is, I'll show you. Hmm. So I'll tell you when the ladder mate part comes. Until then, you can keep waiting. Yeah, now the ladder mate. Oh, it comes. I want to play rook f6, rook e7. This is what I want to do. This, this, this. That's winning, guys. That's a win. I can't play this. I'll just move here and then I'll do that. That's called a ladder mate. You learned something. First, yeah, this is mate. No, 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 it's not mate. If king e8, so that's why I'm not going to pre move that. Okay, this is Woo! I never, never, never thought I was going to be Chalkfish level 1 down two queens. So like this video, subscribe, share it with someone who, who, who you might think will enjoy this video. And if you subscribe, it's just a click of a button and it makes me very, very happy. Bye-bye.